The Senate chamber erupted in laughter Saturday after Donald Trump's defense attorney demanded House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Vice President Kamala Harris appear at his Philadelphia office for in-person deposition. Mike Vanderveen, during impassioned remarks from the Senate floor during the fifth day of impeachment trial, pronounced his hometown Philadelphia with an accent, which sparked prolonged laughter. He also said if House managers call witness depositions, then he would slap subpoenas on a good number of people. Trump's senior advisor Jason Miller said Saturday they have a list of 301 witnesses they would like to call, and he said that that list, according to pictures taken of the paper Miller was holding at the Capitol, includes Pelosi, Harris, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, House Impeachment Managers Ted Lieu and Joaquin Castro, Senators Elizabeth Warren and Macy Hirono and Representatives Ayanna Presley and Matt for the House managers to say we might need depositions about things that happen after, it is just not but. If he does, there are a lot of depositions that need to be happening, Vanderveen said of House impeachment managers Lee Jamie Raskin if he goes forward with calling for depositions on the events following the storming of the Capitol on January. Nancy Pelosi's deposition needs to be taken. Vice President Harris' deposition, absolutely, needs to be taken, he said. And not by Zoom. None of these depositions should be done by Zoom, Vanderveen asserted, raising his voice and banging his head. We didn't do this hearing by Zoom. These depositions should be done in person in my office in Philadelphia. He continued with a snarl on his face, using the pronunciation Philadelphia. That's where they should be done. At this point, senators on both sides of the chamber burst out into I don't know how many civil lawyers are here, but that's the way it works. Folks, Vanderveen said in explanation, appearing confused over the when you want some of these deposition, you send a notice of deposition, and they appear at the place where their notice says, that's civil pro I don't know why you're laughing, he said. It is civil process. That is the way lawyers do it. We send notices of deposition. Vanderveen was then interrupted by Senate President Pro Tempore Patrick Leahy who called the chamber back to order as the bipartisan left. I would remind everybody that we will have order in the chamber during these proceedings. The Democratic said, I haven't laughed at any of you, and there is nothing laughable here. They, before the trail kicked off on Tuesday, Raskin sent a letter demanding Donald Trump appear to testify in the proceedings, to which the former president's lawyers rejected. He mentioned my client coming in to testify. That is not the way it's done. Vanderveen lamented during his fiery remarks Saturday. If he wanted to talk to Donald Trump, he should have put a subpoena down. Like him going to slap subpoenas on a good number of people if witnesses are what is required here for them to try and get their case back in order, which has failed. Ms. Share this article. Share Miller said there is already a list of more than 300 witnesses Republicans would like to call. We're currently at 301 and counting. He tweeted of the witness count after Trump ally Senator Lindsey Graham voted in favor of calling witnesses. Graham tweeted after the vote. It is my firm belief that the House managers are trying to investigate the case after it was brought. It is better for the country to go to a final vote. Now, however, if the body wants witnesses, he continued in a thread, I am going to insist we have multiple witnesses. We can start with Speaker Pelosi to answer the question as to whether or not there was credible evidence of pre-planned violence before President Trump's vote. He said the South Carolina senator added, her testimony is incredibly relevant to the incitement. While even Republicans chuckled at Vanderveen's suggestion some of the top Democratic leaders appear in person at his Philadelphia, Pennsylvania office for depositions, the interruption from Democratic senators continued through Leahy. Pennsylvania's Republican Senator Pat Toomey was seen by reporters in the chamber gallery giving a hearty laugh to the suggestion while chatting with seatmate Kevin Kramer, Republican senator from North Dakota. There were a few times on Saturday when Vanderveen incited laughter about a few minutes before saying Pelosi and Harris should be deposed at his office, the animated attorney was yelling about how there are multiple reasons Donald Trump should be acquitted. Let me take my own advice and cool the temperature in the room a little bit, he suddenly said calmly after shouting his pre- He was greeted with a few chuckles from the chain.